All right, let's quickly take a look at the solution to the homework for advanced 6.1. Gave you three tasks. Number one, identify places where we could share resources with shared pointer. Number two, implement that sharing. Number three, consider the ramifications, possible pitfalls, etc., etc., for each of those points of sharing. So, identifying possible places of sharing. Well, first one that jumps out at me is weapon. Uh, so if we look at our main setup here, we see that fists is shared by two guys, bat is shared by two guys, knife is shared by two guys. Now, to begin with, you might think, well, logically, WB Frog and Peppy, of course, they're not sharing in the actual simulation in the canon of our head. They're not sharing the same knife, right? That doesn't make any sense. However, when you think about it from a systems programming point of view, the knife, I mean, it's got some data. Well, I guess if we look at weapon, we can see here, uh, every weapon has a name and it has a rank, but the name and the rank don't change after the weapon is created. So any one weapon of type knife is the same as any other weapon of type knife. So while logically from a simulation point of view, this knife and this knife are different. In our system, there's no reason why they can't be the same object and they can't be shared by a share pointer. And you can see in the commit history here, that's what I do. If we go into meme fighter, uh, we can see, yes, I replaced the unique pointer weapon with a shared pointer to weapon. And so of course now the constructor is going to take in a shared pointer instead of a unique pointer. And when we pilfer the weapon, we're going to return a shared pointer. And when we give weapon, we're going to take in a shared pointer, again by value. And the, the semantics here in the bodies, they don't change. Many things are common between unique pointer and shared pointer. Then if we look at the meme frog, all we got to do is change the constructor so that it takes in a shared pointer. And the same for the meme stoner. And then in main.cpp, we create shared pointer for fists, bat, and knife. And uh, we pass those in by copy when we create the first team. And in the second team, we move them in because we don't need these pointers anymore. So we make copies and then we move in the ones from here into the second set of meme fighters. And there you go. It's all done. It works fine. And the reason why this works is, again, because weapons are basically immutable once you create them. So you can share the same knife between as many users as you want. And it's not going to make any difference whether they're separate in instances or whether they're the same instance. One possible pitfall of this thing is because we actually logically want to enforce, you know, a fixed number of knives in the weapon pool or whatever, uh, with unique pointer, that's enforced very hard. It's very hard to make a copy of a weapon. You can only move. But with shared pointer, you can copy by accident. So if we, for example, forgot to type std move here, uh, we'd actually be duplicating a weapon instead of moving it from one uh, entity to another. So it's just a little bit of, you got to be a little more careful when you're using shared pointer in this way that you don't accidentally duplicate logical instances when really you want to enforce a fixed pool. Unique pointer would enforce that fixed pool better at the cost of, of course, duplicating resources for no reason. Now, the second target for sharing, uh, in my opinion, is going to be the dice. So every meme fighter holds its own dice object with its own RNG. Uh, but do we really need that? I mean, multiple RNGs, if it's truly random, it should be the same as just having one RNG that's used over and over, right? Uh, so, what we can do, if we look at the history here, sharing dice, uh, we can go into Meme Fighter, and uh, we can scroll down here and replace our dice with a shared pointer to dice. And now, because we're not embedding it as a, as an embedded object, but as a shared pointer to an object, uh, we don't actually need that mutable anymore. We're we're able to call non-const functions on this pointer even from a const function. So that's fine. Uh, now, once we've replaced this with shared pointer, again, we're going to need to modify our constructor to take in now a shared pointer to dice. And then we are going to move that into our shared pointer. 
beyond that, there's not much fixing up that needs to be do, done. Uh, because we have this role function, this private function that calls role on the dice, mainly all we have to do is change this one from d dot roll to d pointer to roll, and then all of our functions inside of meme fighter that roll you roll into this interface function. So by changing this one place here, we fix all the places where roll was required, except here in apply damage to we have to pass our dice to another function. So in there, instead of passing it just as D, we have to dereference and pass it because it takes it by reference. But you can see here, this place here, roll, here, roll, lots of places the dice is being used, but because we wrapped that functionality in a private function, when we change our implementation, not much about our class needs to change, and that's a beautiful thing. Again, for meme frog and meme stoner, um, they're using the role, so we don't have to change anything in there. All we gotta change is the constructor, because now it has to take uh, the pointer to dice and has to pass that on to the parent constructor. And then in main.cpp, we add a make shared here for the dice, and we pass the dice in, we copy, pass by value, copy into all these guys here, except for the final one right here, this one we move. And that's it, that's the two places that I had in mind when thinking about where we could share resources. Uh, now you might be saying, well, Chili, what about the fighters themselves? Because we have, you know, we have two meme frogs, we have three meme frogs and three meme stoners, can't we share those? And the answer is no, right? Because these guys, unlike the weapons, these guys have state that is mutable. They have randomly assigned attributes when they're created, and so they're, they're unique on creation, and throughout the lifetime of the program, they're taking different amounts of damage, so they're going to diverge. You can't just share one instance. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's talk about the ramifications of sharing the dice between meme fighters. Like I said, in our, in our usage scenario right here, there's no problem with sharing one die between all of the meme fighters. But if you had multiple threads running and they were running, you know, concurrently, then you'd have a problem. You wouldn't want two threads to be accessing the same dice object uh, at the same time. You'd either have to protect dice by adding in synchronization to it, or another thing you could do is, let's say you had, you know, different pools of fighters that were running on different threads. Um, you could give all the fighters on one thread, you give them one shared dice, and all the fighters on another thread, you could give them another shared dice, and then you wouldn't have any kind of race conditions, and that would be faster than trying to add synchronization to a single dice shared by everybody. And that's actually the beauty of the system that I've done here. I've opted to pass the dice in through the constructor. We call this, uh, this is a form of dependency injection. The other thing we could do is uh, we could have one global dice and they could all just share it. We wouldn't even need shared pointer then. If we just had one global dice object, they could just all use that global. But the problem is, then you, you lose flexibility. You lose the ability to, for example, give different dice pools to different threads. You use the, lose the flexibility to, for example, perhaps um, you want to give different seeded RNGs to different pools of uh, entities. What if you wanted to create two different kinds of dice? One is a fair dice and one is a loaded dice. With our situation here, we could do that easily with polymorphism. Some dice, we would inject a fair dice, and for other entities, we would inject a loaded dice. Again, you couldn't do that if you just had a single global that they were all coupled to statically. So these are the kinds of things that you start to think of when you get more experience as a software engineer, and these are the, the driving forces behind the, the thing that everyone tells you. Globals are evil, don't use globals. When you're just starting on programming, you're like, yeah, yeah, okay, Grandpa, I heard ya. Uh, it takes some experience to actually understand why globals are a bad idea when you're actually building very large systems. They ruin your flexibility, they ruin your long-term evolution ability. And I hope you guys can, you know, see that a little bit just through this simple example that I've shown you here in this simple little description. Because it's one thing to tell someone globals are bad, don't use them. But it's another thing to actually give concrete reasons why they're bad. And I just want you guys to, uh, once again, take note 
of the fact that we're following best practices when working with these smart pointer types. Um, so our constructors, they take our smart pointers by value and we pass in with a normal value to copy. So that we say these guys, they want to participate in the sharing relationship with, uh, for example, the dice. So they're all sharing with the dice, except for the last one here. Because now this one, this pointer no longer needs the dice. It's done with it. So for the final one here, we're not sharing, we're transferring ownership. So we use a std move. And again, when we, we have our weapon, it needs a dice in order to calculate damage. We pass that dice in by reference. We don't pass in by smart pointer. Doesn't need to know anything about how this dice is being owned. It just wants a reference to the dice. Similarly, for meme fighter, when we want to take a weapon away, we return it by value because this operation is dealing with the ownership. So it should be using value semantics. Similarly, when we're giving a weapon, to a meme fighter, we take it in by value. Again, because we're dealing with ownership. So there you have it. Hope you guys were able to get a little bit of that um, yourselves. Or at least hope you are able to understand how it all works once I've explained it in this video. And hope you guys enjoyed this and you can, you know, start to see the value of using shared pointers when you want to share resources. Because next video, we're going to dig even deeper into the guts of shared pointer and we're gonna we're gonna go balls deep as the expression is sometimes put see you then